So you open up the Wolf Launcher for the first time and it looks pretty bland. Um, there's no customizations, no background wallpaper, and it's pretty much a default layout. Then you spend time, you find a nice background, you create custom sections, you move things around, maybe you hide some applications, and you make it look exactly how you like it. Now that's great, but then what if you have more than one device? Or what if something happens to your device and you have to repeat the entire process again? Now, wouldn't it be amazing if there was some kind of Wolf Backup and Restore Manager which will then allow you to back up your entire configuration with one click, which you can then push out to multiple devices. You can even push it out to different devices, like you could take a backup from your 4K Fire Stick and then push that custom configuration onto your Nvidia Shield. Well, guess what guys? Here we can see on my 4K Fire Stick, let me now start the new backup and restore manager. So I now say that I want to restore my configuration. I'm doing this on a Fire TV. Let me now click on restore. Give that about three seconds, three, uh, that's now all done. And when I now click on open, we can see just like that, all of my custom configurations for Wolf have now been restored. We have a custom wallpaper, we have all of these sections, and I can now push this configuration on all of my other devices. So in this video today, let me show you how you can get this running on your device, allowing you to have complete control of your custom launcher. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, Let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to do my demonstration on my 4K Fire Stick. I'm going to customize my Wolf Launcher, then go into another device, like maybe the second generation Fire TV Cube, which doesn't have any Wolf Launcher installed and I show you how you can restore your configuration onto that device and you can then rinse and repeat that process onto any other device that you have. Now, a couple of key things before we start. Firstly, make sure you enable your stock launcher just while we're going through the configuration, while we're checking things, making sure all the files are correct, you should be in your stock launcher. Number two, as always, when you do install a custom launcher, make sure you only install that onto your internal storage because if you do install it onto your USB drive and something happens to that USB drive, that can cause major issues for your device. So always install your custom launcher onto your internal storage. And lastly, is just to explain how this new Wolf Manager works. So the application actually has the Wolf Launcher built inside it. So it's not really an add-on application, it's an all-in-one application which contains the launcher and it also has the Wolf Manager built into it. So it really is an all-in-one application. So at a high level, the way the process works is you install the Wolf Launcher first, configure the launcher, change your background, add your custom sections, move things around and just get it looking exactly how you like it. Once you're happy with that, you then install the Wolf Manager. Now, when you install the Wolf Manager, that installs on top of the Wolf Launcher. And what that means is if you then open the Wolf Launcher, the only thing you'll see is the Wolf Manager asking you, do you want to do a backup or do you want to do a restore? Now, in our example, we're going to do a backup, which then packs up all of your configuration, your background, your settings into a folder called the Wolf Backup. That's basically like your master backup. We can then take that folder onto any other device, install the Wolf Manager again, as long as the Wolf Manager sees that folder, you can then restore that master configuration onto any device that you like. So I hope you guys are still with me, but hopefully when I demonstrate it, you'll understand. So on this device, the only thing I have installed is just the Wolf Launcher. Let me now open that up and we can see I've got my settings here. But let me just make some changes just so we can see how that reflects onto the other devices. So for example, let me change my background. That's working great. And let me also add this application let me go to move to section, add that into my streaming apps. So I'm now happy with this layout. I'm happy with these sections. I'm happy with the wallpaper image. Let me now install the Wolf Backup Manager and let's go through the backup and restore process. So let me now press the home key. And as always, to get any of these applications I mentioned in any of my videos, just head over to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com. 
When you get there, go to the hamburger menu, click on tutorials, and the latest tutorial in the list will be how to use this new Wolf Backup Manager. So let's open that up. Here we are. Let's scroll down. Here we have some step-by-step -step instructions. We have the software needed. Now, some of the screenshots of that tutorial I will be updating over the next few days, so bear with me, but we can definitely use this page to get the latest version of this software, which is Wolf Manager 1.2. So, and I've also left links for the Wolf Launcher for the different devices in case you need to get that as well. So in my case, I'm just gonna get the Wolf Manager 1.2. Let's click on that and click on this green download button. So let's now install that on my device. Click on install, let that finish, and then press the home key. And we can see now when I open up the Wolf Launcher, the Wolf Manager then overrides the option and shows you the Wolf Manager instead. Now here we can see we have a couple of options. We have the option to create a backup and we have the restore options. And you also have the option to clear the cache of some of your banners, but we'll get to that in just a second. Now in our example, we want to create a full backup of our Wolf Launcher, all of the settings, the backgrounds, the section. So for me to do that, all I need to do is go to backup, click on that. This will then create a backup folder called Wolf Backup and copy all of the configuration settings, the background and everything else directly into that folder. Now, once you've done that, now this is the key thing to understand guys, that whichever device you create that backup on, if I now press the home key, now every time I go back to the Wolf Launcher, we can see I can't actually see the launcher anymore because for us to go back into launcher mode, we have to click on restore. So let me now click on restore. I can confirm that I'm doing this on a Fire TV device. Click on restore. This will then reinstall the Wolf Launcher for you and use your backup files that you use to restore the configuration. So let's click on install. Give that a second. Click on done. And now when I open up the Wolf Launcher, we should be back exactly where we were with our custom settings, custom sections, and of course, our lovely background. So now that we have the master uh, files on our first device, how can we now push this onto multiple devices, onto my Fire TV Cube, onto my Nvidia Shield? How do we do that? So the first thing we need to do is copy out that Wolf backup folder from the first device onto our PC or onto another device. Once we have it there, we can then copy it from there onto any other device that we like. So for us to do that, I recommend using an application called Explore. But for people that are quite advanced, there are multiple ways to you know do this. So if you have other methods, like maybe using ADB Link or another application, you can do that. The key thing is just to take that Wolf Backup folder off our first device. So here we can see in this application, uh, let's go back to uh, the internal storage. I just want to show you where the folder is. Let's go down. Here we can see some of our familiar folders like the downloader folder. And just under that, we have the Wolf Backup folder. If I open it up, we can see it has a couple of files, a couple of images. Okay, so we now want to copy this folder out. Now, I think the easiest way to do that is just click on this thing here where it says Wi-Fi server. Let's click on that. And we can see on the right now, we have Wi-Fi sharing and it's giving me an IP address and a port. So now I can now type the address in into a browser. So that's 192.168.0.92 on port 1111. So let me open up a browser. Let's now type that address in, .92 on port 1111. Press enter. And we can now see the contents of our 4K Fire Stick on a browser. So I can now go down here find the backup folder and select the option here, download as zip. Let's click on that. So as you download this as zip file, let's click on okay. I can click on okay again. And here's the backup file guys. So I can now just move this to any folder on my computer. I'm just gonna move it to my desktop. That's now all done. I can close this down. So we now have a copy of that Wolf backup folder on my PC. I can now push that onto any other device I like. So let's start with the Fire TV Cube. So here we are on my Fire TV Cube. It doesn't have any Wolf Launcher installed. So the first thing I'm going to do is copy that Wolf Backup folder onto the internal storage of this device. So, so let me firstly open up the File Manager. Let's click on that. And firstly, we can scroll down just to confirm that we don't have any Wolf Backup folder. We don't have that there. So let me now go to the right, 
and select the option to start the Wi-Fi server. That's now all started. Let me now type the address into my browser. So it ends in 96. So this is my 4K Fire Stick. This is the cube. We can see the folders here. And the great thing I can do now is I can just drag and drop that entire Wolf Backup folder into the internal storage. So let me now drag that from my desktop. Here is the folder here. We can see it's called Wolf Backup. I'm just gonna drag that into the internal storage. Let's drag that folder there and let go. We can see that's now copying all the files. And now when I scroll down, we can see there is the Wolf Backup Manager. And in fact, if I jump back onto my Fire TV Cube, okay, so we have the backup folder on our Fire Cube. Let's now install the Wolf Manager so we can use that folder to restore the Wolf Launcher onto. So let me press the Home key. So I've just installed the Wolf Manager again from my website. I can now launch the application. Let's click on Allow. Now, because this is the second device, we don't want to do any backup. We want to do a restore. So we come down here, we confirm that it is a Fire TV. I can now click on Restore. Okay, you will see this for the first time on the Android 9 and higher devices. So I can click on Settings. Click on Install Unknown Apps and scroll down and just give permission to the Wolf Manager. That's now all done. Let's press back, back again, and I can now click on restore. Let's click on install. And let's see if that works first time that we've now taken a full backup from the 4K Fire Stick, restored that folder onto the Fire TV Cube. We've then installed the Wolf Manager, clicked on restore, and when I now click on open, we can see just like that, we have our custom background. I can scroll down. We have all of our custom sections. And we've now done a complete restore of that master configuration. So do give a thumbs up for that. And that's pretty much the entire process, guys. So again, because I've got that folder on my desktop, I can now make a connection to my NVIDIA Shield. In fact, let me do that right now. So here we are on my NVIDIA Shield. And in this example, let's just say we already had the Wolf Launcher installed. So here we can see we have the basic layout, no settings, no customizations. Let's now copy our folder onto this device. So once again, we can use uh, Explore. And here we can see on my NVIDIA Shield, I've already copied the Wolf Backup folder, which we can see here. Let's leave that as is. Let's press the Home key. Let me now start the Wolf Backup Manager. Let's click on Allow. Now, once again, we're going to do a restore, but this time we're restoring to a Shield TV. Let's click on that. I've already copied the Wolf Backup folder as you previously saw. So I can now click on, and let's click on Clear Cache and click on Restore. So on this device, we already had a base installation of the Wolf Launcher. We then copied that Wolf Backup folder onto this Shield. We then installed the Wolf Manager, clicked on Restore. I can now click on Open. And just like that, we've taken that configuration from that 4K Fire Stick and pushed that overriding the base configuration we had on our NVIDIA Shield. So we get the custom wallpaper and all of the custom sections that we created have now been migrated over to this NVIDIA Shield. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Lots of you are asking for the process to restore our configurations on the Wolf Launcher. So I do hope you like this video. Do leave me a comment below and let me know. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.